Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Dominic, I'm the host of The Android Factory. Last episode we went ahead and implemented our uh, View All Episodes page here, our character episode screen. We have uh, a lazy column here, we have some sticky headers, we have uh, you know a reasonable looking UI here, so definitely check it out if you're just uh, catching up here. And, uh, you know, before that we had a screenshot here that has this, uh, right under the name of the character, this little horizontally scrolling carousel of the various seasons the character is in and how many episodes that, you know, that character is in in each season. Uh, so we're going to build that out today. We're going to get a little bit of horizontal scroll inside of the vertical scroll here. So smash the like button as we get started. Subscribe if you are brand new. And let's just talk about this a little bit. If, if you remember from the last episode, we actually utilized an episodes that group by our season number here and iterated over all of the different entries in that map. We're then able to have a header based upon the key of that map entry. And then all of the values are the different episodes within the singular season uh, that acts as our key. So we can leverage basically the exact same structure for our top banner here. I'm gonna pull this out into something that we can remember here. All right, and simply here, we're gonna have our mutable state of exactly what we're grouping them by. We can go ahead and leverage it here instead with the episode uh, by season map. And then, uh, where is it? Right underneath our character name, we have a space and then our character image. So right in here, we're going to add in a lazy row here with our content here being the episodes by season map again. We will iterate over each one of these. We rename our variable for good measure. And then we're going to create two little variables here, a title, so it's going to be season and then our map entry dot key. And then uh, the description here is going to be set equal to our map entry dot values dot size and then episodes. And then we have something uh, that we can leverage here, a data point component with a data point here of the title and description. Um, this is a component we've built out before that basically puts, uh, you know, these little, you know, small text in one color and then another text underneath it. Obviously here we're going to have to have uh, a little bit of compose magic here where we just then reference item and put something inside of that, right? Because we can't just add things inside of a for, loop, for each loop, but we're adding an item to our lazy row here. All right, let's rerun it and see what happens. All right, emulator came back to life here. View all episodes. Hmm, okay, seem to have a little bit of an error here. All right, we, uh, we, we were running into issues with our buy remember block there, so we just remove that here. We're calculating this every time. Probably not the end of the world, uh, but we were having some issues with the mutable state of, but at this point here, we now have uh, you know, all the information that we need. We obviously, as I mentioned before, probably need a little bit of a spacer here. So we're just gonna add that in. We'll rerun it here with a spacer of 16 DP between each item. And let's see how that looks. Perfect, we kind of have all that information there. Changing around a little bit more spacing here, adding spacing above our image, uh, uh, making the spacing a little bit smaller in between the name and this, and then made the padding and the spacing here in between all of the episode you know, things, uh, data points a little bit larger so that we actually see that it does scroll. But we're basically leveraging this same data that we have here. We're just representing it and displaying it in a different way. I think it adds a little bit of something to it. It's pretty interesting, just gives you a little bit different data points. However, one thing I've noticed here, and honestly, I haven't looked too deep into it, but I haven't been able to solve it. Our lazy column is actually clipping our uh, children here, horizontally speaking. And it doesn't clip our children vertically speaking, but it clips them horizontally speaking. And I know that we have our content padding here set to 16, but it doesn't clip in the vertical route. You could see the image going all the way up to the top of the screen, but it does on the horizontal, uh, you know, plane. So does anyone know what's going on here? Can anyone let me know in the comments down below why or how I could fix this? I'm genuinely interested and I haven't had enough time to look into it. So let me know if you do know what uh, what's going on there. That'd be really, really helpful. But uh, we have our lazy row here. It's just that simple to just put our lazy column in. When we have our data here, you know, maintained properly and, and architected properly, when we couple that with Compose, it's just so simple to just make some really interesting, really beautiful um, you know, UIs here, and it's just incredibly powerful. It's so, so, so nice. Obviously, we have a little bit to do here on the architecture front, but one thing I noticed before we actually jump into that is this potential problem here. So I'm gonna change our character that we're fetching to 
uh, 114 because I believe this character only has one episode as we see here. Um, just a, regu a regular old Ethan, no big deal. When we click view all episodes, our screen actually breaks. And the interesting thing here is it has to do with our networking layer because at this point we are calling our suspend function with a list of integers with just a single integer in it because he's only in one episode. The problem here is that we are failing to decode because we are telling the API uh, you know, and Ktor, hey, this is supposed to come back as a list of episodes, right? So it's actually not just a singular JSON object, it's a JSON array containing these you know, remote episode objects. When we have just one episode in this array, it actually comes back as a different response and it is failing to deserialize and therefore we never end up getting anything on screen. We just simply have the character information, which is not all that much. So two things to note here. One, it's very, very nice that our app doesn't crash when this happens, but we only have our character. We don't have our episode information here, mainly because we have this big old to do on failure block here for when we're trying to fetch our episodes. So we need to clean that up, but we also need to clean up our networking layer to basically uh, sorry, our networking layer here to basically be smart enough to handle the different cases, right? When this episode ID list is only of size one, we need to do something some way. Otherwise, when it is a list, we need to do it another way. So we're going to cover that in the next episode. It's going to involve a little bit more functional programming and, and mapping between different um, you know, API operation classes. So it's going to be really, really interesting. It's going to follow a similar process here to the on success and on failure blocks, but it's going to be a little bit more powerful. And then at that point, we're going to have a pretty nice suite of tools to help us build out anything that we need. So if you made it this far in the video, I'd really appreciate a like. Thank you so much for making it through. Again, let me know if anyone understands how that, uh, uh, that horizontal scroll is supposed to stop clipping. I'm very much interested in it. Uh, and I really, really uh, haven't seen a good answer since. So um, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for following along.